as a child, I really loved being creative and it was fun. Like I liked to, like I was really into movies. I would watch a lot. I would kind of just imagine stories and like write things out. Felt like I wasn't really good at anything except for maybe being creative. That's something that I was good at. Like I may not be the smartest person, the best person for it, but like maybe I can I can think of something amazing, you know? Like that was kind of my thought. And then as time has gone on, like I've chosen to be an artist. It's it's work. It's really work. Like you kind of have to push yourself sometimes to do the things. Like even if you don't feel creative, like if you're doing big work that takes time and like things that are important, like sometimes like you're not gonna feel like it even. But you gotta push yourself, I think, um, and not doubt yourself. Two pieces that I made are two reliquaries, or my own versions of reliquaries. I decided to create these portraits, or I like to call them portraits. They're sculptures of my parents. So like a lot of the imagery in these pieces are like very personal. The peach pit is a reminder of my father because of his love of peaches and kind of, you think of a peach pit like something that has been taken away from, a lotus pod also is like something that, either it's something that's been taken from or like something that could be. For each reliquary, saliva was taken from one of my parents and then swabbed into the piece. My father's, which is a glass casted hand holding a silver peach and around the rim of this glass sculpture, is like this pool of agar that I swabbed his saliva on. For my mother, it's a silicone version of a lotus pod that I created out of a wire frame. Um, each hole where the seeds would have been are filled with that same material. I kind of like prod them, I mess with them, and then I see the effect of my touch on things. Timing because my work is so time sensitive that I really have to do things at a certain time period or else it usually takes about a week or so for it to grow into a bloom that's like noticeable. My name is Rachel Henson. I'm an artist who explores ephemerality in my sculptures.